congratulations on growing your family. We are so excited for you. As a baby-friendly hospital, we are here to support you as you prepare to feed and care for your baby. Being designated as a baby-friendly hospital means we offer breastfeeding education and support during pregnancy, after delivery, and upon discharge from the hospital. We also train all of our staff members, including nurses and physicians, about the best ways to support breastfeeding. Each of our nurses has completed an extensive 20-hour course on breastfeeding education, so they will be able to help you initiate breastfeeding your baby and answer any questions you may have. Being baby-friendly also means that we encourage skin-to-skin -skin contact as soon as your baby is born, rooming in with your baby 24 hours a day, and feeding baby on demand. We will touch on these topics a bit more in this video. As you prepare to bring your little one into the world, it is helpful to know the benefits of a non-medicated labor. Studies have shown that babies born after a natural birth tend to be more alert, which creates a heightened interest in breastfeeding. When planning a non-medicated labor, it is important to break the fear, tension, and pain cycle and trust your body to help you through your labor process. By trusting your body, reminding yourself that the pain of labor is purposeful yet temporary, you can lessen the fear and tension in your body and allow your labor to progress more effectively. Birth affirmations are powerful and can help you focus during labor. Examples of birth affirmations, such as, I trust my body and my baby, can be found in your pregnancy planner. We have many tools at Enlo to help you during labor. Some of these include private jacuzzi tubs in each labor room, birthing balls, and aromatherapy. Other pain relief options we recommend are relaxation, guided imagery, breathing techniques, and massage. While non-medicated labor has its benefits, we understand that every mother has her own personalized birth plan. Our goal is to support whichever birth plan you choose and ensure that your feeding goals are achieved, whatever they may be. After your sweet baby is born, you can expect the delivering provider to place your baby directly on your chest, skin to skin. Beyond just being a beautiful way to meet your baby for the first time, this helps your baby transition to the outside world by providing warmth, comfort, and also regulates baby's blood sugar and breathing. Not only is skin to skin beneficial for baby, but it also helps you and your baby initiate breastfeeding in the first hour after delivery, which is essential for breast milk production. At Enlo, we encourage mothers and babies to stay together 24 hours per day. Your baby will remain with you during the entire hospital stay to help you learn your baby's feeding cues and to allow your baby to feed on demand. The hospital staff will also encourage safe sleep practices by placing infant to sleep in the bassinet as recommended by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Breastfeeding is a beautiful gift for you, your baby, and the environment. By breastfeeding your baby, you lower your risk of certain female cancers, osteoporosis, and postpartum bleeding, as well as enhancing bonding with your baby and helping keep your body healthy by returning to pre-pregnancy weight. Your baby benefits by having a decreased risk of allergies, asthma, eczema, obesity, diabetes, childhood cancers, sudden infant death syndrome, bowel disease, and ear and lung infections. Breastfed babies also have higher IQ and better vision testing. By breastfeeding your baby, you provide comfort and bonding, a safe place for your baby to settle when fussy. You also give back to the environment and community by creating less waste, fewer hospitalizations for sick children, and in return, fewer missed work days for parents. At Enlo, we encourage you to watch for hunger cues and feed your baby anytime they appear hungry. Each baby will have their own feeding pattern, and it is most important that you feed your baby on demand and not on a schedule. Newborns should feed at least 8 to 12 times in a 24-hour period. Some of their feedings may be close together, and other feedings may be further apart. This is normal. In the first few weeks, it is best not to let your baby sleep longer than three hours without feeding, but your baby can certainly feed more often than every three hours if they are showing hunger cues. You will know your baby is hungry by watching for cues such as licking the lips, opening the mouth, rooting, or attempting to eat the hands. Try to feed baby early when you see these cues while baby is still calm, before baby starts to cry, as crying is a late sign of hunger. Learning to latch your baby properly at the breast will help not only with nipple pain, but also with baby's weight gain and breast milk reproduction. For a proper latch, practice holding the breast with the thumb and index finger on the edge of the areola, forming a C. Gently squeeze the breast to offer a breast sandwich to your baby. 
You will support baby's head behind the nape of the neck with one hand, with baby's head tilted back and chin up as if baby is sniffing the breast. Rest your nipple just above the baby's top lip. When baby opens wide, guide baby onto the breast, latching the baby's lower jaw first, followed by the upper jaw. Ensure the baby's lips are flanged outward like fish lips and not curled in. Some mothers wonder if their infant needs more to eat than what the mother is able to provide. In most cases, a mother's body is designed to produce all that her baby needs. In the first few days after birth, small amounts of colostrum are all the baby will require. Milk supply is driven by stimulation, supply, and demand. Babies will naturally cluster feed in the early days to help establish the milk supply. Frequent feeding is expected and not an indicator that your baby is not getting enough. If baby's stomach is being satisfied with something other than mother's milk, your baby will not feed as often as, and your supply may decrease or never become fully established. Rest assured that your baby's doctors and nurses will be weighing baby and monitoring the number of wet and dirty diapers to ensure baby is getting all that they need. Formula, bottles, and pacifiers are available at Enlo, but not routinely given unless it's medically necessary or a mother has expressed that she desires these options for her infant. After offering education, the hospital staff will always support the mother's feeding goals, regardless of how she chooses to feed her baby. Sometimes bringing our babies into the world does not go as planned and they require a little extra love and support. Our nurses are trained to help mothers initiate their milk supply, even if their little ones are needing extra time to grow. A common question from new mothers is, when will my milk come in? The good news is your body was already producing milk early on in the pregnancy. This milk is called colostrum, and it is your first milk, which is so beneficial for your baby. Many women will start to feel fullness in the breast and notice their milk transitioning from colostrum to mature milk three to five days after birth. As the milk volume increases, you may experience engorgement. This is when the breast feels firm, swollen, or tender. Feeding your baby on demand and using cold compresses will help alleviate the engorgement. If needed, you can also express a small amount of milk from the breast, just enough to soften the breast for comfort, but be careful not to express too much, as overstimulating the breast can cause further engorgement. Engorgement typically resolves in the first one to two weeks after birth. Our hope is that you feel comfortable feeding your baby by the time you are discharged home from the hospital, but your breastfeeding support does not have to stop there. We are available to you even after you get settled at home. We have board certified lactation consultants at the Enlo Mother and Baby Education Center available by appointment that are there to help you work through any challenges you may be facing. You will also receive a helpful list of many other local breastfeeding resources in the going home booklet before you leave the hospital. You may be wondering how long your breastfeeding journey should last. The AAP and the World Health Organization recommend exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months of life with continued breastfeeding, along with introducing complementary solid foods for up to two years and beyond. There is no limit on how long you should breastfeed your little one. You may breastfeed for as long as you and your baby choose. Breastfeeding in the early weeks does not come easily to all mothers, but as you and your baby get to know one another and the feedings start to become more comfortable, it can become a beautiful journey that you will never forget. Please let your provider know if you have any questions. We are here to support you and look forward to helping you on your feeding journey. Thank you.